All right, this is what we got going on. The group training stuff is going to start Sunday. So if you wanna get a discount, go below, go ahead and book a phone call, even though the thing's gonna start. And then another thing we're getting ready to do is mentorships, and that information will be below. Information where I will be actually working with you hands-on to build whatever you wanna build so you can make money. The mentorship is gonna be very different than the group training. Group training is gonna be more economically affordable, and I can only do so many memberships mentorship so that link will be below and you can go ahead and check that out all right so all right this is one of the things i've been looking at and this is something that i think is coming what i call the great economic shift in this great economic shift we're going to see a lot more people defaulting to self-employment from the gig economy to doing whatever they need to do to go ahead and increase themselves. Because as I sit here and I think, like if you don't believe me, go to DoorDash, just go to the YouTube search bar and put DoorDash and you will see a ton of people doing DoorDash videos, how to do DoorDash, how to make more money, a constant, constant vibe of DoorDash. And what is DoorDash? You go to a restaurant, you pick up food, you deliver it to a customer. It's, it's quite a simple thing. And I believe DoorDash has 65% of the market, 65% of the market. So what we're seeing is people are moving towards self-employment. Uh, I mentioned Edward PhD, another YouTuber who literally is making probably close to four to $5,000 a month after starting his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is like six months old. And Edward PhD doesn't give a lot of insights to his personal life, the things he has going on, what he's working on, which I think is really smart, which I really think, because you just get the picture of Edward PhD, the YouTuber doing his thing. And what you're going to see is a lot of people get into self-employment, building a business, creating their own income source. And this is one of the things I had to do on the uh, phone calls. A lot of people were using, I want to create some passive income. And I was like, look, doing this, making money online is awesome. It's great, but it's not passive. It's not passive. You, you actually have to do something. And th this is one of the things, because I want you to think, if creating passive income was snap your fingers simple, why don't more people have passive income? Why don't more people have passive income if it was so simple? Because it's not simple, it's not easy. And once again, once you go ahead and you get certain things and you go ahead and create certain things, it becomes easier to handle and to make money. But with this great economic shift, and I also saw some comments on videos talking about making money, doing things to make money. And they were talking about, you start your own business and you can make X amount of dollars and there's no job that's giving these kind of raises, which kind of brings me back to this whole thought process of a job. Okay, you go ahead, you get a job, and once again, I, I, I have not participated in the traditional workforce in many, many years, so I don't really know what this whole job thing really looks like from an intimate and personal level, I don't. But one of the things that I am seeing one of the things that I think is happening is 
and this kind of goes back to the pandemic where we had people who were exposed to what I would consider the good life. Being able to work from home, being able to manage your schedule. And a lot of people got exposed to that. And my, one of my favorite expressions, luxuries once tasted become necessities, that has happened. You have a lot of people. Uh, this is something else too. This last week, well, yeah, last week and this week, I talked to four people living in Mexico, living in Mexico. And it, it's just interesting because in this new pandemic shift, it's going to provide more opportunities, more situations, more things for people to live the lives that they want if they're willing to do the work. And this is one of the things that's going to happen in this pandemic shift. You're going to have a lot more people doing a lot more stuff that they want to do to make money, to provide for themselves, to build businesses, to live the life that they want to live. So one of the things that I find to be very interesting with this, this shift, and it's, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's not like people can't find jobs. Well, I'll talk about that because the job thing is kind of really interesting. I'll talk about that in a minute. But people are choosing to become self-employed business owners versus working a job, even though Based upon the numbers, unemployment is very low. However, when people get into the skill, the looking for a job, it doesn't seem to be as easy to find a job. And once again, I, this is 100% based upon skill sets, based upon the skill sets that you bring to the job market. But right now, there's a wave of people who are becoming self-employed. There's a wave of people becoming content creators. There's a wave of people who are striking out on their own to do things to create income. And this wave is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Take Nugs, Nugs, N-U-G-G-S, Nugs. He was a DoorDasher until, like, I don't know all the things that go on with DoorDash, but for some reason, he broke some of the DoorDash's rules and he, he got deactivated. But what Nugs saw from doing his YouTube, because, you know, he, he really talked about it quite a bit. YouTube represented, you know, half of his income. And Nugs was doing like eight to 10,000 a month between DoorDash and YouTube with YouTube paying him like four or 5,000 a month. So Nugs went off and created another YouTube channel because he's like, if I can create another YouTube channel and get the same money that I was um, getting from DoorDash, I'll be in a really, really good spot. So you're seeing a lot of people are making these moves to get into their own business, making their own money, living their own lives, doing the things that they need to do with this great economic shift. And this, this shift is just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I would put a 10 year window on this, talking about the number of people who are going to go ahead and create additional income resources, the number of people who are going to go ahead and set themselves above and beyond the average person's situation, because I see it all of the time, um, that people are unhappy with the status quo 
of living a normal, everyday, normal life. Very, very unhappy. And these people are frustrated and willing. And someone else I was talking to uh, has a very unique skill sets. And, um, you know, he's living his own life the way he wants to live his life. But in this great economic shift, you're going to see more and more and more people move towards creating their own economy. And as Dan Coe says, everyone has a million, has a hundred thousand dollar ideal in their mind. So with this whole notion of people moving towards that, going ahead and creating this economic shift of moving towards self-employment, moving toward entrepreneurship, you know, and this thing I feel is going to be very, very real compared to, you know, a lot of people were kind of playing around with entrepreneurship, but now people are about to get very focused. People are about to get very straight and people are about to get very, very serious about breaking their economic reality and going ahead and creating. Cause I've talked to like several people who are no longer in the country. They don't live in the country. And one of the things that I see is that people are not actually doing the things that you think that they would be doing to live this um, this American lifestyle. They're, they're, it's, it's, it's very, very different. It's really, really different. And you're seeing a lot more people open up to the ideal of being self-employed, being a business owner. And there, there's so much like this whole thing, user generated content, UGC, that's a thing. Companies are paying people money to create content for them to use for their advertising. That didn't exist a few years ago. Right now, there's more and more things that are coming on the, the, the market. There are more and more things. And we're going to have a lot of people in this economic shift get into multiple ways to make income, multiple ways to create income, multiple ways to build income. And this is what's, what I think, this is just my personal opinion, that jobs are going to become super, super specific. Any job that can be done by AI or AI can lend a hand to it, that's already happening. Uh, I actually stopped into uh, a Taco Bell. I didn't eat, I just stopped. They have a kiosk. McDonald's has a kiosk. Um, I meant to stop at a Hardee's. I don't know if Hardee's has a kiosk or not, but five years from now, every restaurant is going to have a kiosk. And this kiosk, which is just going to be something that's in the lobby that they can hit. Let's say this kiosk costs 5,000. I don't know the numbers. I'm just making some up. Let's say it costs $5,000. And then you have um, an employee who is making like 15 bucks an hour, which is like $18,000 a year. This kiosk replaces that employee and the, the kiosk never gets sick. The kiosk never takes a vacation. The kiosk never disappears. And the kiosk will need maintenance, of course. But what we're gonna see is a massive adaptation of people moving towards automation, companies moving toward automation. And it's going like, um, I actually, I stopped in Target, stopped in the Target, and I noticed something that the number of cashiers that actually would check you out, because there was like, I'm gonna say there was like 10 checkout lanes. There was only two cashiers and everybody was going through the self checkout. This is going to become a norm. And I'm going to give you a great example of this. When I was a kid, people used to pump your gas. You would pull up to a gas station, someone would come out, pump your gas. 
Think of the last time there used to be a service station in Buckhead that would pump your gas. And there, there's, a, there's another one down with these attendants, these valet attendants who will pump your gas. But when I was a kid pulling up to any service station, there was someone to pump your gas. It's completely, I think that's gone away to the tune of 95, 99%. And what's going to happen is you're going to go to the store, you're going to go to Kroger, you're going to go to uh, the public, you're going to go to Target, and you're going to have to check yourself out. They're going to be passing that responsibility on to you to do the work after you shopped, after you spent money. You're going to see more and more of that. You're going to see a lot more of that. You're going to see a ton of that as it moves into this higher um, level of automation. Companies are going to be pushing as much as they can upon you, the consumer, while giving your money for shopping in their stores. Automation, self-checkout, kiosk. Let me just put it this way. What we see today is nothing compared to what we're going to see in the future. It's nothing compared to what we're going to see in the future. And this is just going to be part of it. And the economy is going to be somewhat kind of weird because jobs are going to be like right now, especially in the AI space between direct compensation, their paycheck and stock options. We're creating million dollar a year jobs between what you get paid for your paycheck and your stock options. Once you get vested, you can cash them out. We're going to see million dollars, people getting paid million dollars a year working a job. The economy is about to get very, very different, very, very different. And I got a question for you, and please put this in the comments. What side of the new economy that's coming? Because once again, 2024, yes, we're gonna have a recession. I, I really see it. But, 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 the recession is not going to stop people who wanna go out, build something, create something, and make money. The recession is not gonna stop that at all. The recession is not going to Detter that, hold people back. It's, it's just not, it's just not. It's going to be a lot of people out here starting businesses, setting up shop, doing stuff. And this is kind of one of the reasons I'm getting into the new training. And this is one of the reasons that I've been speaking to folks. Um, I got to speak to some more people today, tomorrow, the rest of the week, because I want to know what these people who want to move to the self-employment business side, I want to know what's in their mind, what they're thinking. So one of the things that is happening in, you know, this is something brand new. This is something very, very new is um, I'm going to have the group training. It's going to start Sunday and then I'm going to have um, a mentorship and essentially let me just talk about the phases of the mentorship phase one is going to be I'm going to get some people in the mentorship and I'm going to actually work the mentorship out and then there'll be phase two and there'll be phase three so this will be me hands-on working with people zoom calls and actually answering questions and making myself very available a very available to my mentees so to speak so this this is going because like I, I really really see this huge shift this huge shift of people really really starting to get into being entrepreneurs setting up businesses and doing things and right now there's a multitude of people who are putting out some awesome content great content on things you can do to make money but the thing is you got to actually do something you actually have to have to do the work. And that's the great thing that separates so many people because I'm going to say this, talk about the people who watch TikTok and the people who watch YouTube shorts. 
to me, that's a very different audience. It's a very different audience. It's um, part of mainstream America. And this audience is, likes to be entertained. They like to consume a lot of content. They like to laugh. They like to see dances. And it's a very different audience than the audience that consumes long form content. It's really, really different. So we're gonna see a lot more happening as we get into this. But this great economic shift is happening right now. And like I said, what side of this economic shift are you on? Where are you in this great economic shift? Are you moving towards self-employment? Are you moving towards getting, creating additional sources of income? What are you doing? Where are you? Please let me know in the comments. And also, below is, you know, for the mentorship program, because I'm going to be working on building this out and creating this. So if you're interested in the mentorship, go below, short little questions and like literally take it less than a minute to answer for the mentorship. And this link is below. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will talk to you in the next one.